So this is a quick update on what's happening with Matthew Randolph's bid to become police commissioner. As you know, he was doing a fundraiser and thanks to you guys, within 48 hours, he raised the £5,000 necessary to put his name down onto the list to be voted in as a police commissioner. So thank you so much, all those who donated. It was amazing to see him reach that target in 48 hours. And when you consider how small an audience this channel has, we're just absolutely all blown away by it. So thank you so much for all your generosity and all the well wishes that went with your donations. They were absolutely wonderful. We've read through every single one of them. So Matt and Johnny also want to say a quick word and give you their thanks as well. This is a quick video just to say thank you to uh, Colchester Council Watch. Uh, myself and the future commissioner, Matthew Randolph of Gloucestershire um, Police, the IPC, uh, who will be holding the police to account and then following that holding the council and the MP to account in Gloucestershire for what's happened in the past four years. So we just want to say thank you thank to you, Rachel. Rachel. And the council watch. Yes, um, thank you very much. We because... raised the money, uh, thanks to you. We got the 100 nomination forms back in with five minutes to spare, so we are now officially standing in the elections. So thank you very much, Rachel. We um, love you. And I'm an agent. Agent Johnny Mack and Police Commissioner yep. Matthew Randolph. God bless you all. Take yeah. it easy. Bye-bye. So as you heard, it went right down to the wire. They had to put their paperwork in three times to get through all the bureaucracy. And they got through with just minutes to spare. So now there needs to be a big campaign of support and awareness. They are getting leaflets printed and a website set up. So as soon as I have that, I will link to it beneath this video. So please share far and wide with anyone you know in the Gloucester, Stroud, Cheltenham, all that kind of area. They must get their polling card and when they go in on the 2nd of May to vote, they also have the opportunity to vote for the police commissioner. So they must do that and make sure it's Matthew. So here's a new clip you haven't seen on this channel yet of how Matthew deals with police officers. Uh, can I just have a word with you as well? Okay. You, please don't come and talk to me and interrupt me while I'm talking. The, the law you quoted was the Public Meeting Act. That was if I was to interrupt a public meeting. Yeah, the, meet the meeting, it, yeah, the meeting had finished, finished, which is what we discussed. The meeting had finished, sir. Right. So therefore, if the yeah. meeting's closed, I'm not interrupting okay. the meeting, am I? Yeah. But you, you saw the last bit about about councillors feeling in fear, don't you? No, so I get the answer yeah, for you. Saw the, no, you saw the last bit it about says, councillors being it in says fear. Interrupting okay. a public meeting. Yeah. But the also, meeting was closed. Also. So you can't use that act, can you? If councillors are in fear, or if I'm well, that's not like that being, that's not the, that's not the disrupting. Right. I'm not prepared to. No, so I'm dismissed. Be. So as you can see, he's going to be very capable of holding the police to full account. So it's been very uplifting to all of us at Council Watch to see the support that people from all over the country have given to Matthew. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Though that said. It was rather dismaying to see so many negative comments regarding the guys chilling with a drink and cigarette throughout the interview. From my own experience, it's really awkward and uncomfortable being interviewed. If you're just a regular person going about your business and then all of a sudden the spotlight is on you because you've plucked up courage and gone along to your local council, it just flips your life on its head. I remember how I felt exactly a year ago. Our first video had gone viral. I was absolutely beside myself when 200,000 people or more viewed that video. And I had offers to be interviewed all over the world and I turned every single one of them down. And some of them, quite big names, were coming up and saying, you know, we can get you to a real big worldwide audience. And I was going, no, 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 I'm not going to be interviewed. I didn't want to be in the spotlight. I still don't. But I can see the value of people learning from what we're doing and being inspired to do it themselves. We have such a small window of opportunity to turn this around peacefully. People seem to have this unrealistic expectation that if you're in the public eye, you're this perfectly polished person. None of us have had media training. None of us have been trained to take on the council. None of us are trained to be doing interviews. It's all new ground for us. So yes, we might well be a bit rough around the edges and not perfect in everything that we say and do. But frankly, where are all these perfectly polished celebrities? These famous people that people seem to love so much and look up to, where are they? Equally, where is the cavalry? 
I don't see any signs of them. So until they turn up, well, you're just going to have to put up with regular people taking to the stage, whether they want to or not. And none of this is comfortable to do than doing Zoom calls nearly every evening, trying to help groups set up something similar, than being interviewed, than doing walking into the council and having to tackle all that nonsense. I would much rather be at home reading my books. But in the absence of anyone else doing it, what excuse do I have not to? As uncomfortable as it is. So rather than the constant criticism of those of us that are putting our necks on the line, Will you please get off your backside and go and do it yourself so you have experienced what it is like, what you go through internally when you take on your local council and police or any other form of so-called authority. Do it yourself if you don't like the way we are doing it. Make your own videos. Show us how it's done. We'll happily learn from you. If you are focusing on how imperfect we are, then I might suggest you are focusing on the wrong thing. There's far worse things happening in the world than one of us not saying or doing things perfectly and in a polished way. So if you can do it better, by all means, you go right ahead. Because I would love to go back to my quiet little life of pottering around the allotment and the garden and reading books in the evening. That is my preferred way of being. So now I've got that little rant off my chest. Let's end with some more potentially positive news. I'm going to be doing an update on the Sudbury video. Gosh, that little video that I didn't think anybody would watch has turned into quite a storm. Even the leader of Baber District Council, who has proposed the parking charges, saw the video, and I don't think it went down that well with him, judging by his comment on Facebook. See what you think. And who is this woman? Well, he'll find out in the next video when we do an update. It would appear the people of Sudbury may well be taking legal action to stop them enforcing car parking charges. We'll cover all that and more in the Sudbury Update video, coming soon.